guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my kitchen my battery light is flashing so that's wonderful today i am bringing you a dinners of the week video and it's a collab which means you guys are going to get lots of meal inspiration i love doing dinners of the week videos i love doing these as a collab because then you find other channels similar with meals that you could use for your meal prepping, meal planning for your month. Today I am bringing you a dinners of the week video and it's a collab, which means you guys are gonna get lots of meal inspiration. I love doing dinners of the week videos. I love doing these as a collab because then you find other channels similar with meals that you could use for your meal prepping, meal planning for your month. So this collab is with three other mamas and three out of the four of us are pregnant. Emily is pregnant. She has a, a channel called Crazy Cleaning Mama. If you want some crazy cleaning inspiration, go to her channel. She will inspire you to off your butt and go clean your house. She is very inspirational and motivating in her cleaning videos. So definitely check out her channel. And then there's Danny. She is getting so close to her due date. She just went shopping for her hospital bag even. And she is about to have her baby girl. So check her out. And of course there's Courtney who I did my collab with last time. The only one not pregnant in this collab, but she does have two adorable little boys. It's a toddler and a baby and they are so cute. Definitely check out her as well. I really only like channels that I can relate to that I could, you know, watch and feel either inspired or connected to like no channels that'll make you feel bad. I feel like all three of these channels are very great channels to subscribe to. So you definitely should go check them out, subscribe and check out their dinners of the week. For now, let's go ahead and get into Okay, my so dinner tonight is just Carrie and I, the kids are in bed early tonight. I made a very simple, extremely budget-friendly meal. Doesn't look appealing with all this, <laughs> all the broth, but the, just look at the pork, okay? Just the pork. This is a pre-seasoned pork tenderloin. Um, it's about $4 at Walmart, and I put it in frozen. So I hate having to have thawed meat because I never eat thawed meat in time. Put it in completely frozen for four hours on high and a bunch of carrots around it. I hate carrots. My husband could eat a ton of carrots. So, and then I t put some oven, uh, ovens. I put some potatoes in the oven. I made baked potatoes. So there it's gonna it's kinda be a stuffed baked potato. Whole bag of potatoes is like three dollars. You guys know carrots could be like a dollar and this whole thing is four bucks. So four maybe like twenty cents worth of carrots and fifty cents worth of potatoes. I don't know why I'm giving you guys an estimate on this, but just to show it's extremely budget friendly and adding more potatoes because there's plenty more meat for other people because I'm going to shred this up to make like loaded potatoes. We will add like sprinkled cheese, sour cream, whatever toppings. Carrie will add tons of A1 to this, but it's a very budget friendly meal to feed a full family even though tonight I'm only feeding. Okay, so tonight's dinner is called cheesy chicken spaghetti and we make it spicy, but we do it in like two versions. Hey, hold on. So I do a double version of this, but not without a bunch of dishes. So in here is just a one can of cream of chicken, two to three chicken breasts, salt, pepper, minced garlic, and onion powder with a little bit of chicken broth. So I cooked that on high and shredded it. Now I'm gonna cube one pound of basically Velveeta. This is just the Walmart brand. And cube it and put it in there, put the lid on and let it all melt down. Okay, so that's in there. I'm just gonna kinda push it in a little more. And my crock pot's on warm. You could have it on warm or low, but you just want it nice and warm in there to melt that cheese down. While over here, I have spaghetti noodles boiling um, and my daughter bouncing around waiting for dinner to be done. Okay, so now I converted this whole recipe and adapted it from a quick video I saw once on Facebook. I will leave what I've texted my sister-in-law who's asked me for this recipe down below. I am not a measurer, so I did my best, but I will leave it in the description box on exactly how to do this. My house got insanely loud, so some parts of this is voiceover, but this is the cheese after like five minutes, all melted, just stir it in, and it's more orange in person. I don't know why it's so pale right now. Okay, so the cheese all melted and I put that, I stirred it in. Now I accidentally had too much broth, so it's a little on the runnier side, but it's still super good. But this, I mean, it's flavorful and stuff, but it's not got that spicy kick. So I pulled this out at this point for Jensen. Lila's way picky and won't eat this, but 
It'd be pulled out for her too, but this is when I dish up Jensen's dish. So even as I'm doing this voiceover, it's loud, but not as loud as when I was trying to cook it. So next is the spicy part. So I add cayenne pepper, just a little bit, and crushed red pepper to the crock pot. I'm really bad at measuring, and here's Jensen's bowl that I pulled out, but I do sprinkle it in. Um, don't go overboard, you'll regret how spicy it is, especially with the cayenne pepper. And you just stir that up. And then the next step is very simple. So after it is all stirred up, go ahead and get yourself out a large baking dish. Isn't my dish so cute? Anyways, a large baking dish and just dump all that pasta in and go soak your crock pot in some bubbles so you can clean it later. Spread it all out, very simple here. It's like common sense right now. Um, but the next I get some mozzarella cheese typically and sprinkle that on top. Mozzarella is the best on it. Even if you do some panko breadcrumbs, really good. Toss it in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes until it's bubbly and crispy like this. It's so good. It's amazing as leftovers. It's such a comfort food, cozy in the house type dinner. Look at that. I want it right now. Okay, my house is still loud as I'm doing this voiceover, but next night in my Instant Pot, I defrosted some pork ribs and cut them in half, threw them in, just seasoned them and threw some broth in. I didn't even know what I was really doing, honestly. Like, let's be real. And look at those really cute pajamas I'm wearing. Like, really. Anyways, toss them on there and... <clears throat> excuse me, I use some of the broth to dump on top because it helps keep the moisture in the meat, I guess, before it's broiled. So I just dump that on top, then get my favorite barbecue sauce out and drizzle that across the top. Okay, so this dinner, honestly, it looks like all fancy because it's ribs. Um, it took me 25 minutes in the Instant Pot. I just seasoned it really quick, threw some broth in, and obviously I put some barbecue sauce on, and now I'm gonna broil it for five minutes. This is burned scalloped potatoes, just burned on top. The potatoes are fine underneath. Um, that's just from a box, and then I have green beans roasting woo, in here. And bon appetit, very simple. Got the ribs and they were on sale, threw them in the freezer set them out at lunchtime and threw them in the Instant Pot. That is just box scallop potatoes that are a little crispy and roasted green beans that I get from Costco that I love so much. And that is a super simple, budget friendly. I had a completely different dinner plan. I was gonna make chili and I had cornbread, but today did not go as planned and I've kind of been in a funk all day. Watch my bump date and you'll figure it out. So this was in the freezer, DiGiorno stuffed crust pizza. I kind of like it when it gets a little burned. So it's dinner tonight. Very extremely easy. Basically no effort at all. <laughs> all right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my very, very I think relatable dinners of the week. As I mentioned earlier, our last meal. This week has kind of been a week of exciting surprises like our gender reveal, but also some things thrown in there like a wrench thrown in um, the week. So. Some meals got changed. I had some better meals planned and they just didn't happen, but that's life. Sometimes you just throw that frozen pizza in the oven and call it dinner. Anyways, like I said, don't forget to check out the other moms below. They are linked in my description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.